What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. On this episode, we're gonna be switching it up. We're gonna be doing a little garage shop talk today, talking about the Kodiak. The last time you guys saw us, we were in Anza Borrego. We had a blast. Um, it's the first trip we had taken this year. First trip in the Kodiak. We had so much fun. Um, the trip home was actually really stressful. We didn't show you guys any of that. We actually didn't film anything. So we're gonna go through um, what happened. Uh, we're gonna go through where we took it to get diagnosed, um, what they replaced, and how we got to sitting here in the garage six weeks later. So let's start by flashing back to our drive home from Anza Borrego. Started on our five hour trip, trip home back to Gilbert. Pretty quickly, the truck was going into limp mode. Um, it wasn't actually throwing any codes. We had our Altel scanner with us. As far as we knew, we couldn't really pinpoint on why it was going into limp mode. We had made a few stops and we made the decision to pull the Jeep off of the trailer and have Tiffany drive that the rest of the way. We were gonna see if that helped. Um, it actually didn't help. The truck kept going into limp mode. We kept clearing it and every you know five or ten minutes or so um, it would throw it back into uh, power save mode so we we limped it home we stopped maybe 10 or 15 times we ended up making it home so it's about a week after we get back from that trip we decided to just take it to the shop we took it to poor boys diesel they found that it was throwing one of the C00 something something codes for the C3 clutches in the transmission. And then if, if you guys know anything about Allison transmissions and these Allison 1000s, the C3 clutches seem to be a weak point in the transmissions. For whatever reason, maybe the, a cooling issue or from what I, uh, we've researched, um, we found that um, these Allison 1000s can have issues with the C3 clutches. And so we weren't shocked when we got that diagnosis. So they work with tier one transmissions out in Cave Creek. Um, so they actually uh, RNI'd the transmission, got it removed, uh, sent over to tier one. Tier one did a stage three build on that. And what that kind of includes is HD clutch packs. Um, it's two extra clutch rings in each clutch pack. C3 clutch oil upgrade. So basically, I'll show a picture. They have this jig that they set up on the transmission and they drill a hole in the casing of the transmission to allow fluid to flow into those C3 clutch packs to get more fluid in there, keep them cooler, and uh, it just kind of overbuilds that C3 clutch pack. Billet input shaft and billet C2 clutch hub, and then they paint it black and gray. So. Um, we'll get some video of that here, but uh, it's a stage three build up to 900 horsepower and from tier one uh, That was $7,000 6992 okay. we're gonna be completely transparent on what we paid So while it was at poor boys, they do like a hundred point inspection or something they had gone through and looked everything over and found that the up pipes the bellows on the up pipes on these Duramaxes um, they crack and they tend to leak and so they were saying that both up pipes were having a leaking issue and as you guys know from a previous video I was going to do the up pipes I had actually ordered them I didn't realize that the Kodiak up pipes were different than the Duramax up pipes so um, we tried to install them they didn't work sent them back got our money back um, so I figured while it was there while they had the transmission out they could go in and do the up pipes um, So what we ended up doing is we ended up going ahead and doing a PPE race manifold and up pipe As you guys have seen in the previous videos this thing was in the north. It was pretty rusty. So uh, I wanted them to you know do the manifolds with those bolts and actually they had I think two on the passenger side where they had to weld nuts on to get those out and then they had one on the driver's side that the stud actually snapped off in the head so they had like six extra hours into the manifolds than they anticipated which i uh, honestly at this point i was so happy that i had them do it instead of me trying to tackle it because that just sounds terrible so um we did a ppe race manifold and up pipe it's got the uh already pre-drilled and tapped for uh, EGT probe, which we're going to be doing a CTS3 uh, tuner or monitor 
um, with all the sensors so we can monitor all the temps of everything. So the uh, up pipes and the manifolds from PPE, they were actually for the Duramax. So I'll show you, we had to do a little bit of trimming on the frame. All right guys, it's gonna be kind of hard to see. It's all tight in here, but you can see we have the new PPE race manifolds. Normally the Kodiak manifolds 90 and come to right here and then the up pipe mounts to the manifold here. These are the 2500, 3500 manifolds and up pipes. And uh, you can see right here where they had to trim the frame out to uh, to be able to clear that. So for you Kodiak guys that want to run the 2500, 3500 manifolds, this is what you're gonna have to do. But you also see they fixed this glow plug right here. Um, but it all clears, should lower the EGTs and everything. Um, up pipes and manifolds were $900. Um, and then they obviously had their uh, um, install uh, labor rate. Um, and the labor rate on the transmission, to go back to that, it was 7,000 from tier one, and then it was 1,500 to have poor boys RNI it, remove and install it. Um, so we had 8,500 into the transmission, and then we had um, 900 into up pipes and manifolds. If you guys remember, uh, one of the glow plugs had actually broken off, and I couldn't get it out. Well, while they had the manifold out, I figured have them go in and take that glow plug out. So they did that um, uh, to get the bolts and the glow plug out. They charged me 750. So all in all, our bill from poor boys with the transmission stuff was $11,122. So 7,000 from tier one, 1,500 for the trans install, and then the rest was up pipes and the glow plug stuff. So, and we obviously we're not excited about this, but you know, we're, we're so deep in at this point and we have the rig that we want. So, you know, we just figured instead of buying a new transmission from Chevy or um, buying a used transmission and putting it in and just keeping our fingers crossed, we just figured do it right the first time, you know, yeah, it's going to hurt to spend $8,500 on a stage three rebuild on the transmission, but we'll never have to worry about this transmission again. So yeah, that's everything that we did um, between the Anza Borrego video and now. So that's gonna wrap up this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed us uh, switching it up a little bit and getting a little bit of insight on things we've done to the camp. We want to show you guys as much detail and give you as much information as we can about our build. It, so that you guys you know what you're getting yourselves into if you want to build something similar if you guys have any questions Make sure you put them in the comments down the, below if you guys want to su support us go ahead and like this video hit that bell for notifications and uh, We'll see you on the next one later guys